I gradually became aware that I was awake again, sadly. I enjoyed those fleeting moments of unconscious sleep, where the minutes and hours slowly drift away, and then pick up speed until you were redlining in fifth gear. Then blam, awake again. Who knows how much later, 15 minutes or 10 hours, time used to be relative. What I really like about sleeping was that if I was lucky, I could dream. During the time where my body simply was, my mind could weave a beautiful tapestry where I wasn't bound by the laws of physics. I could run and jump, socialize with others and even eat food again. I miss food a lot. When I was stuck being what I call awake physically, I could do nothing. I don't mean that I had nothing to do, but that I could not move a muscle. I wasn't paralyzed. Even a quadriplegic can blink and move their eyes around. At least, they can breathe and have a heartbeat. Not that looking around would have done much for me. I had been in the darkness for longer than I could fathom. Or maybe not. I had no way of telling time. I wore a watch, but it didn't glow in the dark. No backlit digital screen for me. I vaguely remember that at one point, I thought I could hear the soft ticks of the watch as the hands made their rounds. I don't get to hear those soft ticks any longer. That is one thing I would change if I could go back. I would change lots of things if I could go back. But if anything, I would have worn a digital watch that displayed the time of day or the day of the week. If I could just find one that would show the month too, I would drain every penny in my checking account and take a bank loan just to have it. Ideally, I would change other things first. I would have worn a helmet when I got onto my motorcycle. I would have looked both ways before I pulled out in front of that oil truck. I would have maybe also gotten one of those blood donor cards for my wallet, and then the paramedics would have known what my blood type was. So yeah, mistakes were made that day. But if I couldn't change the outcome, I would have worn a different watch. I don't recall much after the impact. I remember a fire truck, some paramedics, but it gets fuzzy. I do clearly remember the medic telling the doctor that I was a motorcyclist with no helmet involved in a side impact collision with a large vehicle. Side impact my ass. When an oil truck t-bones a bike in a 55, the truck runs your ass over. The doctor just shook his head and mumbled that us bikers were just organ donors anyways. I probably would have been one too if my insides weren't gelatin. There was a funeral. Somehow, it was an open casket, and I got to see who came and who didn't. Who cried and who just looked at me and shook their head. As much as I tried, though, I couldn't move. I couldn't blink. All I could do was just be there with some vague consciousness that I was there and what was around me. Sadly, those were the good times. Things only got worse from there. My casket was closed and I never saw light again. I heard the thud of dirt as they covered my casket, and then I was completely alone, with nothing but the soft rhythmic clicking of my wristwatch to keep me company. Just me, my thoughts, and my wristwatch. I don't know how long I've been down here in this hole, but I really wish I'd worn a different watch. <laughs>